Hi everybody. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how you can uh, make uh, uh, change uh, your uh, mesh character mesh. Like I want to use this mesh uh, to my existing player in Unreal Engine. So this is my existing project. And if I play it, you can see that I have a character, and this character can uh, walk, run, jump, uh, shoot, and it will run fire gun. And it have all the default animation uh, in our in this uh, character. So this is the character I want to use. It's a bunch of boxes, which is uh, like a human shape. In the previous tutorial, I used Midjamo, but in this tutorial, I will use, use Blender. Blender is a 3D creating software. So I just uh, go to File, uh, Import, uh, FBX, and I import my character, which is the box character I show you. And it's a mesh. There is no skeleton. So you need to create the skeleton. So I'm using a Blender plugin, which is called Auto Read Pro, which is a paid uh, plugin. Uh, let me show you. It's uh, this guy, and he created the Auto Read Pro, and it have uh, their price rate. And uh, this page explain how it works. Blender Market Product Auto Read Pro. If you go to the uh, site, you can see detail about this uh, website. So I'm using this. It's a fine uh, plugin. So I select my uh, character. Go to the plugin. Select uh, skeleton, and it will uh, come to this uh, mode, this viewport. And I just select the neck and select the chin. It uh, doesn't show the chin. I just uh, make it above the knee. And uh, I just select the shoulder. I just select the waist, which is here. and I select the middle point and I just select the leg and if I make it to go it will create the skeleton which I want so this is the skeleton it created uh, with finger also so I select the uh, limb and I make it like 4 Unreal Engine have 4 so now I press match to read so it will create this from pose mode to option I select the mesh and the match to read and go to the screen and select the bind it will bind the skeleton with the mesh and it will take some time my character didn't take so some time because it's a low risk character and my character is okay now I just export it from the export option I select the Unreal Engine Humanoid I deselect the animation to back animation and I just select all Unreal Engine option. Now I export it in my desired folder, which is character change. You can export anywhere you want. It uh, perfectly depend on you where you want to export. So I name it tutorial, and I just export it. So my character is uh, export. It export fine and perfectly fine so this is my project this is my character and I just replace the character only I just don't want to create the animation like I created previously in Midsamo. so I go to the Cypher character and this is the character I'm using and I just change the character so go to the character I need to see the skeleton this is the skeleton and let me see the skeleton the skeleton name is Esclamanitone skeleton and it's inside infinity blade warrior so I go to the content, I import my character which is named tutorial and I select the skeleton which is SK Manicone Skeleton and there is two so which one of is us so select one and it will show infinity blood warriors and I just import it so it showing some of the mirror it doesn't matter, matter. so this is the tutorial and I want to change it so I select uh, the mesh and I just go to my blueprint and just change the mesh and it's uh, changing the mesh but it's using it's still the using the animation ideal animation so let uh, me check if it's work perfectly or not so this is the character I can walk I can walk around I can jump I can jump in I can jump I can walk around I can select the gun select deselect gunfire 
and it's uh, all animation works perfectly. Okay, so I will just die and everything is perfect. In uh, PS3, you have to create all the animation from scratch. So in here, you need just change the character and it will work like fine. So this is today's tutorial. Bye bye everybody.